Let's begin with NVIDIA. The stock is surging, closing in on that trillion dollar valuation, getting a big boost from AI chip demand. This is Jensen Wong talking about AI on the call last night. We've seen it in a lot of places now that you, you can't, you can't uh, reasonably uh, scale out data centers with uh, general purpose computing and that accelerated computing is the path forward. And, and now it's got, a, it's got a killer app. It's called generative AI. And so the easiest way to think about that is your, your trillion dollar uh, infrastructure. Uh, every quarter's capital CapEx budget would lean um, very heavily into, into generative AI, into accelerated computing infrastructure, everywhere from, from um, uh, uh, the number of GPUs that would, would be used in, in, um, in, the, in the CapEx budget to, um, uh, to the accelerated, accelerated switches and accelerated um, uh, net, networking chips that, that uh, connect them all. Jim, this morning the Goldman Desk says it's probably the best TMT print they've seen since Zoom in 2020. Uh, I think that that's wrong. That Zoom in 2020 was aided by illness. This is just brilliance. And uh, the calm nature of this man and his humility is so stark with what's occurring. And even just his, the, the way he was speaking in somewhat of a flat way, just he will not be in anyone's face. But to translate for our viewers, what he's saying is, is that right now a data center has about 5% of his material, GPU, and 95% CPU, it's what's in your PC, and that that needs to flip and it's going to be 95% his materials and 5% CPU. So this is going to happen at a level of speed that is shocking people. And the reason is, is because when all of those orders, the inventories that you heard, the problems, that T, the Taiwan Semi, that, that things had dried up because of the lull, whatever, he put in all it, he went all in and procured all that he would ever need. Uh, for the next year. That's why the numbers, you could have such a guide up. I mean, you're going from people looking for $7 billion, yeah. goes up to $11 million. That's because he has it. It's in hand. And, and that's a quarter guide. Yes. Yeah. And what's going to happen is, as he told me, just imagine you have uh, an iPhone 5. And suddenly the iPhone, uh, iPhone 14 comes out. None of the apps on the iPhone work on the 5. So you have to upgrade and this cycle is a 10-year period before we get, everybody gets there. But because he had the foresight to have the uh, GPUs now, six weeks. <laughs> six weeks. Everybody who needs it one, wants it. I, I'm in awe of this man. I don't wear typically my true dog tags that he gave me, which is, of course, my... I named my dog. This is, a, this is our second dog. And, and Jensen felt it was important that I get the second dog renamed uh, NVIDIA. But I, I renamed Everest NVIDIA, and I said that this is the, about as high as I can put it in the club. And then I went to own it, don't trade it. And he was, like, happy because that, that's, like, the Apple's status that I have. But it was all because I'm, I, I, if you meet him, he's so compelling because, again, he's a teacher. He mostly talks about how this will cause less waste. I mean, one of the first things he said is the great thing about this, about, there we go. The, the great thing, of, uh, good, good timestamp there, of <laughs> what he's doing also is it uses far less energy. That was when I had to. Well, look, I mean, I had to. it's, and, and I'm glad you pointed that out because Jim, as you may know, has been recommending NVIDIA back to 17. Right. Uh, as we've looked for ways to show that, there's no better way to put your money than where your mouth is by naming someone you love after uh, a company, which you did. Take a listen to this. I love that. I renamed Everest, our rescue mutt, NVIDIA. <laughs> All right. Now, of course, Barron's wrote it up, and I just loved it. It said, the Intel of your generation's NVIDIA screams Kramer. This is, about a, this is my life in a nutshell, and I'm glad. Ma, listen to this. You'll love this. CNBC's adorable lunatic <laughs> of evening stock trading, Jim Kramer, a short while ago, told listeners that NVIDIA has displaced Intel. <laughs> the Intel of your generation is NVIDIA. It's like, you know, like, laugh line. They, no. That's Barron's? Well, yeah, that's what Barron's. I love <laughs> lovable lunatic. I Oh, no, adorable. Um, look, uh, that's an incredible call. It's going to carry you a <laughs> long him. way. It's him. Um, but 
I always like to remind you, you wrote a book once uh, called Get Rich Carefully, right. where you say 20% gains. There's no shame in taking money off the table. Uh, there is, and I'm not going to deviate from that. And I, I told those guys, look, I mean, I don't, I don't know what to do. Portfolio management says you can't let it run this much. Uh, at the same time, I, no, no one has ever seen what's happening. And it, it's a lot of it is because he had the foresight to say, you know what, something's going to come along and make it so that he didn't know what it was going to be chat GPT, make it so people realize, like he thought that when I talked to it and came back to New York and said, paint me a Cezanne seascape, knowing that Cezanne does still lives and it could do it. We could interact. Somehow he thought that there would be people who I could like I, among others, could tell a story which people don't realize you, you talk to this. And it has a conversation, and then it takes you to the next level. I wasn't, but ChatGPT did. And it just so happened that he just had... He has enough to make it so that Oracle, so that Alphabet, so that Amazon, so that Microsoft in particular, so that, so that Meta can do what they need to do now. See, a lot of people, and one of the things that they were saying aside is that typically it's like, and you know what, there'll be a, there'll be a demo... And we'll have some to you in the fourth quarter. You can check it out. And, and then maybe next year we can fit it in. And he said, no, six weeks.